Hey guys, John Loxley here, back with our blind playthrough of Orwell. So, I basically just, you know, continued from uh, the episode before this. I just, you know, stopped the recording, started the recording again, because, man, that was such a... Man, that... I need to, I need to play the rest of the game, so... I'm going. I'm going in. Um... But, you know, in, in keeping with the theme, I did want to talk about, uh, you know, another topic. I have a few written down that I that I was thinking about, and I guess one of the biggest is that there seems to be this push to sanitize the Internet, you know, to make it safe. To make it safe for children, especially, but also to, you know, all all these different companies have their terms of service, and those are getting enforced, and and they're it's basically being weaponized into removing anyone that has a difference of opinion, um, and I think that's bad. I think ultimately, it's it's worse than just what it seems to be on the surface, and and here's why. The internet, it's not just the websites. The internet is people, essentially. What the internet actually did and all these websites and, and message boards and services do is they, they shrink the world so that I can go on and talk to people and you know, do things with people from anywhere in the world. I can touch anybody, anywhere. And that's huge. Basically, what I'm trying to say is the internet is people. And people aren't safe. And that's why I think I find the, the whole thing of, you know, turning it child friendly and you know, politically correct and all that stuff. It's like, it's, you can't, you can't sterilize people's minds. You know, that's why I'm such a big proponent of things that you type online being considered speech and being granted the protections that free speech should have. I mean, you know, I'm not talking about like, uh, you know, the law talks about calls to action and, uh, what's the term fighting words I'm not talking about protecting those you know swatting is not speech doxing I don't consider that speech either you know it's it's designed to intimidate or harass um you know I'm okay with saying go kill yourself even though it seems weird that I support that, that is, you know, you can always turn off your computer. I don't agree with the, the whole... I mean, it, it crosses the line where it becomes harassment, right? Like, I think for a while, I don't know if they still call it cyberbullying. But when you go to school and all the people that you know are harassing you in person and online, it's, it's harassment. It is not speech in that case um, so I support freedom of speech online and offline um, and, and the internet is not safe it will never be safe people will never be safe and I think if we can realize that we're not always safe we can do a better job of preparing ourselves and protecting ourselves so that in the event that we find ourselves in an unsafe situation, we can take care of ourselves. Plus, get our ideas challenged and grow a little bit in the process. Anyway, that's what I think. Let's uh, let's finish Orwell. My inspector. You know, it's interesting they talk about like outside of the nation. I didn't realize that was like a very subtle fourth wall break as well, potentially, but I mean, maybe it's not, maybe it is, but maybe it's not.
it reminds me a bit of the um, Bravely Default. I haven't played the second one, but the first one uh, was pretty decent. And uh, you're going through the game and you come across like a, a one of the enemy characters is a summoner. You know, and she's a boss. You kill her and you get her job. And uh, she's talking to the main character and she's like, no, not you. The person looking through your eyes or something like that. And that's, that's kind of the same feeling that I got, like the, just the full... I was just like, whoa. So, all right, here we are. We have to choose whether to go after Catherine Delacroix or myself. And I have no idea. Is this? No. I don't think so. Unknown person. That's probably not me. Okay, so now... We can go through all this stuff. Um, do I want to upload all this stuff? Because we're trying to frame people. So I think I'm not going to upload anything. Unless it's on... party people I could I mean I definitely could but I'm not going to initiates desktop uh, browser history that's probably where I want to go but why I don't see anything Joseph Langley, Timelines, Harrison's Timeline, Stelligan, National Beholder, The Target's Albums. Yeah, I'm not going to do that again. No content ID. Okay. Uh, let's see. Maybe Initiates PC. Oh. Themba's PC. That's the kids. Juliet works at Rosen Quinston. Seems to have an organized peaceful protest. Ex of Harrison, bit too shy, maybe hiding something. I should get around talking to her sometime. Rosen internship. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, intern at Rosen Technologies. Mr. Themba von Biljon worked in the division of in-house security. Assignment of internship was completed. Right, so this is where the attack came from, but we don't want to go after this dude. We could, I mean, you know, Catherine Delacroix. That's, yeah, okay, so there's a third option, right? You could target myself, target Catherine Delacroix, or target Thought and take them down. Uh, Ignorant to Abe. Probably inside of protests, they would never have proved. Great band, sounds a lot like Rat King. Loud, load mouth, talks of doing shit, but doesn't, not a terrorist. He's running the thought page now, could try to disrupt to get attention. Web server, why does he work for TMB now? Cover, tries to intimidate me, lol, wise ass. Let him crawl through my timeline. Save protocol, gold fells. Uh, please don't do this. My friend, I do appreciate your worries and I understand them. I too have considered this endlessly, but the result of this consideration can only be to intervene. I don't get it. Intervene with what? Why don't you tell me? I can't risk telling you. Not now. I'll be placed at Rosentech. That is all I can say. This very gov has deprived me of the chance for a better future. A future with my sister here. And I will not stand idly by while the most sane and intelligent person I know makes such a dick move become corrupted by the government. The opportunity to have such an impact on our common future will only come once in a lifetime. I need you to understand this. Bullshit, we can always do something about the gov. Find some followers, build a group, gain followers. Just like me, start a guerrilla war. Think what you were saying. Consider the chain events this will set in motion. I will found a cell for this guerrilla war. Then I'll recruit members, call to arms. Then we start acting, even bombings possibly, to kill. Then they will increase security measures. Nothing gets better. Intended thought to be a terrorist cell and commit bombings. Really? 
I've had it. You're making up excuses. You aren't better than anyone. This is about money, nothing else. Don't be ridiculous. This is the last time we speak. I will no longer read your blog. I will no longer comment. I will no longer care. I'll be gone. Poof. Very well. Understand. You are young. You are fiery. It is okay if you do not support the actions of a stupid old man. I would not act differently, I suppose. Maybe it's time to part ways then. It is. I hope you will achieve everything you want eventually, by peaceful means. See, this doesn't make sense. Oh, and that's why it's a conflict. Okay. Let's disable that. And it, it was already... Like, you can upload it. It's not a conflict, but it's yellow, which is interesting. Uh, I hope you'll achieve something or everything you want eventually by peaceful means and you'll be able to live your life freely. You'll always be the one to initiate my thoughts with your regular comments to my posts. At the very least, this will remain. Goodbye. Okay, big brother... Sawano Umfo the knock knock big brother has life in the nation is it still as sprawling as last time you sent me a letter I sure hope so I finally got into an unsecured Wi-Fi network from one of the houses across the street no more running around searching for a spot first thing I'm doing is sending you an email of course big brother I know you're so determined to get me to the nation I'm writing this email to let you know I'm fine here maybe our home in Cape Town oh this must be from his sister uh, maybe our home in Cape Town isn't a house in Boughton, and of course I miss you dearly, but don't waste your life on this. You took the chance to get out of here, and you had every right to. How should you have seen this stupid security bill, or however it was named? You couldn't. I knew you made the stupid promise to come and get me. Forget about it. I release you. Instead, promise me something else, to put your anger aside and live your life. Please. By the way, your old laptop is fine. In fact, I'm typing this very email on it. Remember the endless hours we sat in front of that tiny broken screen and you showed me how to operate it? But mostly we play this ancient version of Battleship that showed nothing but grids and circles and crosses. Hey, why don't we play around via email, huh? Put up your ships. Don't read further. I start. D2. Did I hit? I'm so looking forward to your answer, big brother, and don't forget that promise. Your sister in Bali. Okay. Nina. Real sweetie. Angry, angry, angry. You need to check her soldier in the army has a kid. Michael, don't think she is behind this. And she probably wasn't. I guess Juliet set everything up. Joseph, no idea who this guy is. Save protocol, Winston. Hey, Winston. Uh, what's up, my man? So, hear about the bomb bombings? Yeah, it was on the news even here. Am I Winston? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, what about it? I've been doing research. I know some peeps who might be behind it. What? I spoke to them, claiming to suspect the Gov, so two possibilities exist. Those people are trying to bullshit me big time, or there's more to it. I need to exclude the latter. You wouldn't know anything about the goings-on with the nation's Gov, would you? Actually, I might. There's this rumor. What rumor? A friend of mine claims to know a guy going by the name of X2, X2 Think, who got recruited by the Gov. Recruited for what? For a called Orwell. Orwell, like the author? What is it? Yeah, just like him. It's pretty vague about what it can actually do, but uh, everything points at crowdsourced surveillance of the web as a whole. They recruit everyday peeps for this outside of this nation. Super hush-hush. What? You sure? Assume the worst. Why didn't you tell me earlier, man? Like I said, not sure. All pretty vague. Just on the grapevine. Now where's the connection to the Bond bombings? System entered a test phase on April 13th. Rings a bell? Holy crap. Holy crap indeed. Anything else? Not for now. I'll try to get more info. Thanks, man. I owe you. Oh yeah, you do. Okay, so our objective is to show that they're investigating people outside of the nation. Assuming that this is... was on the news even here, so let's create a profile on this dude. Not possible wrong profile. Unknown person. Boom. Profile created. Ooh. Winston. Could be me. Okay. This is probably going to be a challenge. I assume it would be easier to get Catherine Delacroix or get uh, them. And this must be him and his sister. Abraham, I need to visit him in Rosen. I need to know what he does. It, he really was there. Didn't recognize me, though. What's he doing in there? What the hell became of him? At Rosen? Okay, right. Cassandra, mostly harmless, arrested? Orwell. 
New surveillance system, according to Winston, a crowdsource can observe the whole web. A secret recruitment outside the nation checked IPs so far. Possible intrusion point back in server. Two firewalls up there, doable. Benjamin Costigan, advisor. What is an investigator then? Buck got booted hard. Don't try this IP again. Might be tracing me. Okay, so I don't know. Big brother. Right, I'm not gonna do that. Rosen internship. Oh, he was an intern. Hmm, in-house security. We'll ignore that. Uh, okay. So I'm at the point where I don't know what I need to do to get ghosting. That's fine. We'll uh, we'll upload this just to. Is she gonna say something? I'm not particularly interested in the love life of a terrorist. Why? The whole point is to snoop, isn't it? Okay, people. I mean, I could start building a profile on her. Notable alumni. Buford Orlando, Catherine Delacroix. Yep. So I have to find the IP of an address in his office. So I might have to look into, what's her name? Catherine Delacroix. How did you, why are you looking at my computer? You're supposed to trace the source of the intrusion. How did she know that? I thought she could only see what I was uploading. Leave my PC alone now. You'd not be assessed as a traitor, would you? Orwell. See, as advanced as Orwell might be, won't gather much from a switched off PC. Goodbye, investigator. Soon you'll find yourself wishing you had listened to my warnings. Okay. Hmm. Well. Let's, uh, guess we can update this. One related document, okay. Contractor information. This is what I want. So she's a little annoyed and she's like, oh, I'm gonna investigate you as a traitor. Which is fine if I can find stuff about myself. Rosen Technologies on a project titled Demiurge. Okay, another document found. Good. Entry four flawed. Now become death the destroyer of worlds. Oppenheimer quoted when he realized he made the nuclear bomb possible. For the first time I feel I truly understand what he meant. I know it's impossible to stop progress. I thought I could change what was coming. Control the inevitable from within. I cannot. I made a mistake. I must quit at once. The only thing I can do is seek redemption, so let this be my confession. I, Abraham Goldfels, developed the so-called ethical codex for a project codenamed Demiurge, which has been renamed Orwell. And I have proof for everything I am about to write cloned to a device with the, you, uh, the ID this. This is what I need. Is she going to see it, though? Oh, there I am. <coughs> oh, and I'm connected to Catherine Delacroix. Interesting. So I'm not Winston. My intention was to govern this highly invasive project by applying strong ethical constraints on what it can access, have that access is granted. I was given a lot of freedom in this regard, yet that was not enough. Seeing this thing in action, I can only look at myself in disgust for being so naive. 
that I ignored the danger that was staring me in the face. Even when the system is investigating targeted persons, it will jump from one individual to another, ultimately parsing all of their indiscretions and making everyone a target. Each test indicated one true fact. No one is innocent. I feel the urge to run to the press to give them conclusive evidence Orwell exists. Yet I ask myself, will it achieve anything? Just another news piece lost in the crowd, one that will be drowned out by the latest timeline scandal or whatever Rosen is eating for breakfast. I doubt I'll even have enough strength to leave this article live on the blog. I can't handle the shame of what I've done. I bet they'll start using the project against me, then others I am connected to. It will be for the best if I just archive it, but I need to commit my thoughts to words, even if they are just for myself. Yep, okay. Let's uh let's go after me. Catherine Delacroix, supervisor. I'm kinda chubby. But that's okay. Alright, let's uh track myself down. He's a bug. Let's check the trash first, nothing. Demiurge. Codex draft. Uh let's see, the document is highly confidential. The goal of this paper is to stipulate a set of mandatory guidelines to be implemented in the mechanics of the hard and software com combination titled Demiurge. Said project is in development at Rosen Technologies Limited. That's what LTD stands for, right? As of the creation this sits of this document, the intention of Demiurge is to allow the investigation of crimes and suspect individuals through online information. The very nature of the project demands for the inclusion and embedding of strict limitations in order to ensure the preservation of the privacy of said individuals and any related to them. The guidelines stated herein shall serve this cause. Let's read it. Oh, wait. Okay, they go in order. <clears throat> Number three, the human elements. No, that can't be right. Uh, okay, I guess they're... Okay, sure. I figured it would be two. But I guess not. I guess we're skipping. Uh, human elements, the use of human elements in the system shall serve the purpose of keeping the investigation impartial while at the same time keeping the powers divided. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second. Right on. Demiurge shall be operated by pairs of human elements, an advisor who will operate from within the system, and an investigator who, uh, who shall be a client outside of the system, i.e. the nation. The advisor, shall, the advisor shall be an employee of the government. Their duty shall include advising the investigator as well as drawing conclusions and requesting action, e.g. considering the person a target person. To this end, the advisor may communicate directly with the investigator. The investigator shall be a citizen outside the nation to reach the utmost impartiality. The investigator must not be able to communicate with the advisor to prevent power misuse. Seems smart. Target and related persons. Individuals referenced during investigation should be considered as related persons unless uh, there is significant indication they are involved in the investigated case, and the advisor decides in agreement with the superior that the person in question is to be considered a target person. Those individuals shall be regarded and referenced to as target persons. More so, data chunks shall only ever be processed for said target persons. I mean, it makes sense so far, but yeah. It's going to go everywhere. Restriction of discovery. The discovery of new documents shall be restricted to those on which a target person can be identified beyond any doubt and similar data to the already contained can be detected. The investigator must be prohibited from browsing the web freely, even from public pages. There should be no distinction between public documents and privately accessible ones. Wait, did I, uh... Right, okay. Uh, based on the guidelines proposed in two guidelines, we conclude that ethical surveillance is possible. How can I write this? This is absurd. Marked as to do. Demiurge authorization key, Goldfell's full access. I feel like this is important, but, uh, okay. Private. Uh, let's see, saved protocol, Julesy. I, I don't understand. Why did you never turn to the press? With all this material, we could have created the intention you wanted. No, no, we could not. Juliet, there's one thing I've learned out of all this. People need to see the consequences before they ever learn. I unfortunately agree, based on my own experiences. 
They must experience them firsthand or at least see them affect someone they can relate to. Otherwise, it's all just an abstract concept. Are you suggesting Nina and Harry have been right all along? You can't possibly mean that. In a way, they have been, yes. Not necessarily about violence or scaring people, but only consequence. Consequences that happen right before the eyes of the everyday person, not some report. Event that is going on while everyone is watching. How could we ever hope to achieve such an event? If I had an, if I had an answer, I would have done it, Juliet. I will soon be hospitalized, Juliet. I can feel it. The sickness is getting worse now with each passing day. To get up from my chair feels like a Herculean effort by now. We have tried, we have failed. We must accept this. People will eventually discover what madness this project is. All I ask of you is to let go and get on with your life. Do not waste your life on this as I did. It is not of any worth. No, no damn it, it's worth everything. Every possible effort. You, Juliet, have always, or Juliet, you've always regarded my advice. Listen to me in this case too, please. Get into Rosen for an internship. Delete the backup of the data I stored there. Remove every trace I ever worked on this godforsaken project. Then quit. That is no place for you. Just walk away and do not tell anyone. What do I do with this? Do I upload it? I guess. Uh, I can't do what you ask for. How could I ever? You're the only one who believed in me always. Not my friends, not my family, you alone. It's exactly why I'm talking to you about this, not to anyone else. And is the reason why I'm asking you to give it a rest. Grant me peace in knowing everything will be all right for the rest of thought. Do it, please. I will. I promise. She lied. Papa. Papa, it is you, isn't it? Don't ask how I found you. It took me quite a while to figure out. You hid your traces very well, but I still managed to find some threads. Abraham Goldfels, is is this who you are now? Well, I hope it was worth it. Leaving Mama, leaving me. What did we do to you? Was it just too much on you? Did you hate us? Do you hate me? Don't get me wrong, I'm not mad at you. Somehow I can't be. I'm certain you had your reasons. I just want an opportunity to understand them. I want to understand who my father really is. Why he had to leave his wife and daughter all alone, struggling, crying, hoping every day that you would somehow return. Explain to my friends that my father was dead, when somehow I always felt like he wasn't. So I guess he left to... Uh, become a part of Orwell or to help create Orwell because he thought he could stem the tide so to speak I have no idea if you're interested in me what I mean to you if anything at all I've attached a photo and will tell you a little bit about a little bit about me I finished secondary school and now I attend Stuttgart University where I studied journalism I travel between Greblingen and Stuttgart every day even though I take even though it takes one and a half hours I did not want to move because of mama she's fine most of the time but I'd rather not leave her all alone Speaking of Mama, I haven't told her that I found you, and I never will. She deserves some certainty, though, some closure. Though it shouldn't, thought it shouldn't come from me. It needs to come from you. This is what she's been waiting for, hoping for, needing for, for so long now. Please redeem her. As you probably know, she's a kind spirit. She'll find it hard. She'll find it in her heart to forgive you. Who knows? After such a long time, she might be able to be happy again. This is the one thing I ask of you. Do it for her, Ava. And that's his daughter, I guess. Make thought change direction. Uh, let's see. We are not on our. We are on our own. Do not inform the other members of thought. Not about me. Not about my plan. They will not understand. Just make our actions harder to obscure. Let them get on with their lives. Who is this going to? I don't know. Uh. And someone says understood. Oh, which must be Juliet. Uh, from what you've told me, you're more than capable of building a bomb, are you not? Well, we need three of them. Place them at the most important places in town, right before the eyes of the public. Freedom Plaza at the Memorial Stelligan University at the Central Courtyard, and finally the Circle Mall. Oh, he's sending it to Nina? Well, okay. Uh, they need to be somewhere they cause substantial destruction. Hide them well. Very well. Watch out that the CCTV doesn't spot you, especially at Freedom Plaza. For this occasion, I will create work around to distract their eyes from you. Your temp working situation will be as of use here, giving you plenty of opportunities. You will manage. You have my utmost trust. Doing this will convince people surveillance is of no use. It might cause a decent debate or even the revolt we have been looking to incite. Finally, we might break the back of Delacroix, perhaps even the party in its entirety. It will be the public themselves who will protect us. The outcry against surveillance will be so strong it will obscure our actions. 
it will no longer be of interest. I will call upon you once again, not via email, and tell you when to set and when to trigger the charges. Finally confirm, then erase all traces of this mail. Never reply to this address again. Uh, Nina Matronova wrote, Abe, I thought you had left, a, left us. I even understood and come to terms with my own thoughts of why you had vanished. I was against your course of action, even though you've been trying to help me. There's nothing to apologize for. If I can help in any way, I'm willing to hear your plan. Just one thing, if we do this, you must make it absolutely sure we are impossible to be tracked. I don't want any harm to come to my son. Is anyone with else with us in this? Nina, I suppose my message might come as a surprise to you. After a long time of contemplation, I've come to conclude you were right when you said we must perform drastic actions to make ourselves be heard. You'll probably remember we have talked about helping each other. As I see it, I've fulfilled my end of the bargain. The time to fulfill your end has come. I am in need of your help. Let me know when you feel up to the task. Wow. Uh, notes, I guess. Oh, geez, more stuff. I need to find that other thing so I can get into the computer. Or, oh, I, maybe this is the computer, but I need to track down stuff on me. Wait, hang on. Notes. Okay. Today I started my work at Rosen Tech. I got assigned my own office in the main tower right at the top on the 24th floor next to Victor Rosen himself. Never felt so misplaced in my life. Not even back in... Blah, blah, blah. Although I was sure it could not possibly get any worse. It's like there are only youngsters here, rushing over the floors, buzzing in the cafeteria, occupying the elevators. All of them staring at me like I'm a recently unearthed dinosaur fossil. What do I try to achieve here? The constant feeling of not being involved through is niggling at me. We had a presentation where I learned the basic project parameters of Demiurge. During the meeting, I got a panic attack and nearly had to vomit. I must have been paler than the sheet of paper outlining the conceptual details. The plans for the project are bereft of any ethics or common sense. It's nefarious. Nefarious is not even the word. Sinister. That perfectly describes what Demiurge is. The software goes way beyond it, what I had feared in my worst nightmares. It's total observation of, well, everything without any user interaction required. And they want an ethical codex? Preposterous. I'm conflicted in what to think, how to feel about this. I thought I might be able to change the plans from within, restrict this thing. Frankly, if I had any confidence in my ability to change it at all, well, that is all gone now. He kind of did, though. Uh, let's see, October 2013. I might be in luck. Development team has had severe problems with the application of the re recognition algorithm to automatically collect and interpret relevant data so far. There are too many conflicts, too many applicable meanings. If I play this card right, I might be able to convince the project's leads to consider that the use of a human element to sort out the misinterpreted and irrelevant data, which in turn might make it at least a bit more humane. It worked. The use of the human element referred to as an investigator has been confirmed by the project's lead and more importantly, the government itself. By now I've outlined the fundamentals of, of the codex. We will not use one, but two human elements. To give one human the full ability to do the research and at the same time draw conclusions is just too much power in one hand. Instead, the power will be shared between said investigator and an advisor. The latter shall be a government employee on the inside. While it's crucial, the investigator is a person on the outside, so an unbiased opinion is assured. I cannot overstate how glad I am the project lead is absolutely willing to follow my advice. Right. During the break in Rosen's cafeteria, I noticed a young man observing me closely from across the room for nearly 15 minutes, again and again when he thought I wasn't noticing. Intrigued and having, having finished my lunch, I walked over to his table where he sat with a colleague. I asked, I think politely enough, to join in and they obliged, but the same man that had so intensively stared at me before now looked a bit intimidated. We talked a bit about the projects we work on, to which I had to make up something harmless enough, and he declared himself to be a student on an internship for in-house security. Oh! This is the person, uh, Initiate. I don't remember how it actually happened, but somehow we came to discuss ethics, and I swear that for a second, this young fellow could read my mind. The way he talked, how he reasoned, left a big impression on me. Unfortunately, I had to quit the lively chatter before I could ask for his name. Damned be my recently whimsical digestive system. I better not eat. I better not eat in the cafeteria again. Who is this in the background, anyway? <clears throat> I 
I've been working on separating persons of interest from those only appearing in relation. Searching for new source documents shall be restricted to where such target persons appear. Only after thorough consideration by the advisor and the administrative, administrative staff can a person be considered a target. This should reduce the damage done to privacy to an absolute minimum. On a side note, I am having a hard time focusing on work with stomach pain like this. I should visit a doctor. This is starting to happen regularly, and it's not the cafeteria food. Yeah, cancer. A development team has conducted a first test in a fictitious setting. The results have been disillusioning. Devastating. What have I done? How could I ever have thought this was a good thing? When in truth, I've helped opening Pandora's box. The investigators somehow managed to convince the advisor every single person in the test was suspicious. They turned all of them into target persons by bending the truth to his liking. They spied on all their documents. Persons became labeled without looking at the full picture, without seeing the human being. Nothing works it was as it was supposed to. To make things even worse, they introduced a third human element. To oversee, they call it evaluation, the other two, and make sure the investigator and advisor do not misuse their powers. Aha! I am being evaluated. One related document. <clears throat> we'll get there. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, this defines the whole purpose of using two elements. There are no ethics in this black hole, only a boot stamping on a human face forever. That's a quote from Orwell, actually, or from 1984. Oh damn this blindness, this naivete of mine. They must consider. They they must reconsider. They must. Ugh. Wow. It's starting to get late already. I'm at the end. I've had my share. I cannot continue the work. My consciousness got the better of me, especially regarding my circumstance. When I argued with the project lead how Demiurge allowed for massive manipulation, unrestricted mass surveillance, that my ethical codex could easily be circumvented, how Orwellian the spending of the truth was, that everything the investigator considered true became true, he just laughed. He laughed and said what a terrific name Orwell would be for the system. People would assume government or surveillance and safety with a name like that. I could not believe it. Are they even going to use Orwell's name out of context and give it a new one? That's... Yeah, people don't understand. This only proves they've not understood a thing and they will never. I have to make it stop in another way. It's not going to work from the inside. The people must learn the truth about this madness. Unfortunately, I cannot take anything with me. The checks in the lobby are too strict. It's crucial to undo any trace that might lead to me or else I'll fall prey to my own abomination. Yeah, and he basically was. The only thing possible is cloning my entire PC under a drive, which then must remain here, hidden somewhere. Perhaps I will find a, tree, a way to retrieve it later. I don't know how much time is left for me. I wish there was more. I think that's all of it, right? For his desktop? Yeah. Okay. Devices. Insider. Okay. Let's go to Reader. Ah, oh, an evaluation from Orwell itself. I am trustworthy. That's good. Extracts obviously wrong information, Wonderland. Not very observant. Well. Flagged Sea Watergate as potentially. I guess I just upload all this stuff. Oh, maybe the yellow here means that it's, um. leads to an ending. She is. I mean, I, I don't know. Believe Sea Watergate protected Jay Carrington. Finds possible contradiction in Jay Carrington's statements. Observant. Provided material to pre Oh, oh, what is this? Whoa. It just, it just ended. Parliament occupied self-incriminating Orwell investigator or something, something. Government announces immediate termination of Orwell. Impartial agency commissioning, commissioned with erasing stored data permanently. Bombings mastermind arrested. Bombings, button bombings. Mastermind Juliet Carrington arrested in her first statements. Carrington said she committed bombs for the freedom of the nation's people. Investigator wanted for arrest. 
Investigator to tangle with an activist group thought wanted for immediate arrest. Whether their home country will be complied to the extradition request remains to be seen. Wow. Wow, okay. Uh, the government... Oh, and the music's messed up. The government has declared the investigator entangled with the activist group thought is wanted for immediate arrest. So far, it remains unknown whether the home country of the investigator will comply to the extradition request. It's presumed the government will lay, leave no stone unturned to get a hold of the investigator, who is likely to be in possession of insider information on their surveillance project known as Orwell. This is presumed to mark the end of the case known as the Bonton bombings. Experts suggest that after the troubled events of the previous of the recent week, nation and citizens will finally find some long overdue peace and quiet. Yep, let's keep incriminating myself, and that ends the game, presumably. Wow. Good job. Osmotic Studios. Good work, man. Or guys. Guys and gals, whatever. Human beings. Fellow traveler. Wow. So what'd you guys think? That was... Yeah. Jeez. I don't know. I need to reflect on this. Um, so, originally, before that last episode, I mean, I still think that it's not... It doesn't have mass market appeal because there's way too much reading and people don't... Uh, people are okay with reading if it falls under their own interests. Um, but they still don't really like to do it. And reading for pleasure is not something most people like to do. At least from my own observations. I, I'm, you know, I'm, it's wrong to judge all people, but I'm kind of talking in generalities here. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't think it would be that intense at the end. So, like, the end of the game, they, uh... Or when you log out, they give you, like, a little ad for the next, you know, season two, which... This is this is probably, like, a... I mean, was it, like, a Telltale thing where it's released episodically? I, I don't actually know. Um, but I don't know where it goes from here. Like, what is the next one? Is it still using the Orwell system? I mean, I assume it has to because it's the sequel, kind of, right? So, made with Unity. Yeah, man, Unity. Awesome. Um, I, I assume, in my cynical worldview, that the data on the servers, in reality, they wouldn't get rid of it. It would... I don't, would it be auctioned off? I have no idea. I, I just feel like it wouldn't, it would be too juicy of a, a thing. You know, cause big data is the, the new oil right now. Loading, okay. Does it mark your investigator like your profile is as deceased or something? Okay. Or maybe it'll just quit. Um Let me talk for a minute first and then I'll and then I'll click this X. I don't know if it's just gonna exit wait. You hear that? 
there's something in the background. Let's uh, let's exit, and if it goes to a back screen, I'm gonna or black screen, I'm gonna apologize. Okay, here we go. What uh, what happens if I log back in? I'm curious. I'm gonna try this now. Um. Maybe it'll pick up right after the the gathering, so to speak. I don't know. <coughs> um, you know, it's it's interesting, right? It, it reminds me a lot of V for Vendetta because. You know, the best villains are ones that you can not only empathize, but see their point of view and maybe even agree with it. You know, in the, I think it's Stephen Fry, I watched like the making of or the behind the scenes or whatever, and Stephen Fry mentioned that one man's uh, terrorist is another person's freedom fighter. Oh, is, oh, is that it? It just ends the... Okay, well, self-incriminating Orwell investigator causes a reveal of the project's scale. Parliament stormed by protesters after such and such. I'm just gonna... Can I hit escape? Can I click? I cannot do either. Alright then. Well, Juliet. You're awesome. You're willing to sacrifice everything for the people. Investigator wanted for arrest. Oh, and you can't do anything else. You just have to incriminate yourself or, or do this. What happens if you disable it? Nothing, nothing else works. All right, well, there you go. Credits again, probably. Can I... Oh! We already skipped the credits? Oh no, never mind, okay. Okay, escape works now. It's probably taking us... Well, no, I assume it's taking us to the uh, the little splash screen about episode two. Um. Yeah, so, so before... Like earlier today, so I played the last... Um, I'm just going to talk, you know, this, you know, I'm, I'm interested. I'm, I'm interested. I'm curious. I guess we'll see. Oh yeah. Freedom of speech is a human right. That's something that I agree with. So the, uh, earlier today, before I even started playing the game today and recording this in the last episode, I was trying to think of my review, quote unquote, and I was just like, uh, you know, it's it's okay. It doesn't really have very much emotion. It's more cerebral, blah, blah, blah. And I, I still mostly agree with that. Uh, but I do have to say that that... Like, I, I didn't really think even the characters very had very much behind them. And then all of a sudden they're just like, hey, these characters are... Um, like the big reveal and all that stuff. It's like, did you know that you actually view them as people kind of? And I was like, holy cow, that's, it was really unexpected. Um, somehow they did a really good job of like stealth, creating like a stealth empathy moment. Like I don't, I don't quite understand it, but it works. It really works. Um, I mean, I still can't recommend this to everybody because most people I just think are going to be turned off by, honestly, by the reading. It's it's a bit like, um, it's like if you were to make a game about the earth being flat and the dangers of that and people are like, well, I mean, the earth is round. It's not a big deal. 
but if it turns out they actually you know you know what i mean it's like something that's it, it's a poor analogy because people understand that they're being watched and being monitored and they for the most part they just don't care you know it's like a goldfels or or gunther Aaron or whatever his name is said it's like people it's an abstract concept and most of them can't or won't understand it until something actually happens that affects them or people they care about and that's yeah i i totally agree with that so i don't know i mean i like this game a lot i was really really surprised that it had such an emotional finale um yeah wow um but that's it for today i'm i'm gonna be thinking about this for a while i think uh so i don't know what game and i'm how many times have i said um this you know this in the last video a lot i don't know what i'm gonna do next for the next uh game the next playthrough I'll find something. I have a, a pretty decent backlog, as I think most people on Steam probably do. But uh, I, I really do like, I like doing this. You know, I like reading your guys' comments. I like seeing what you guys think, and I like um, seeing other people do kind of the same thing, like playing games blind. Like doing it yourself is amazing. I mean, that's basically just playing video games. But then I think for me, the, the real big appeal of seeing others do it blind is, is for me, it's like living through, like re-experiencing the, the game for the first time again, because that's what other people do. You know, they put the, the blind playthrough and you watch it and you're like, oh man, that's how it was the first time too. You know, you, you connect with that person. So that's kind of why I like doing this stuff, but I hope you guys do well. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, that's it for today. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. Like that's, I mean, this is great, but that's all I have for today. Um, let me know what you guys think. Good, bad, indifferent. I love reading your guys' comments, assuming YouTube shows them to me. Uh, that doesn't always happen, but you know, I try. And then, uh, yeah, the, the positive moment for today, man, I, I have to say hands down, it's, it's that the cliffhanger, so to speak, at the last episode. Like that was crazy. That was just so, intense like I, honestly I was blown away I was not expecting that so that for me is is just awesome just really awesome but that's all I have that's all I have for today thanks for coming on the journey with me guys I, I really do appreciate it thanks for your time and attention yeah you guys are awesome um, but I hope to see you guys next time until then, guys, take care.